Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to talk about tonight is the forward momentum of the assault weapons ban of 2022. You know, that little chestnut that we talked about in the House Judiciary Committee last week? Yeah, that one. I want to say to each and every one of you, my brothers and sisters, you guys have been handed a golden opportunity right now to ruin Nancy Pelosi's day, nay, the end of her year, and her desires to infringe upon the Second Amendment with an accountability vote to buy votes in November. This is one of the opportunities which you guys can truly act on, and you have to call and email and react to your congressperson. Everything is going to be linked in the description box below. I'm going to walk you through this entire thing, where we've been, where we are, where we're going with this bill, and how you can seriously ruin Nancy's year. This is going to be something I need you guys to send out so we have information going forward, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments field below. Now, we are always looking to earn that subscription because we want to make sure you guys get that information quickly. So make sure if we earn that subscription, you give that a consideration and thank you in advance. But enough of that. Let's dive into this. I've got to keep you up to date with what's going on with the assault weapons ban of 2022. So where we've been currently, if you are not familiar, we basically had an assault weapons ban 2022 came out, goes through the House Judiciary. It gets out on a party line vote because the Democrats were going to do it anyway. That was the whole point. Well, earlier on, and we even talked on this channel, it was kind of a foregone conclusion that it was going to pass the House. In my own personal opinion, it was going to pass the House because a ham sandwich could pass the House right now, as long as it had a D on it. Well, it's going to get stocked by the filibuster in the Senate. The exact same scenario has been going on. We've covered it ad nauseum. At least, that's my belief. Now, I'm not Nostradamus. You guys can make up your own mind on that. But in my own personal opinion, it's not going to get past the filibuster. Again, why do it? Accountability votes, at least, again, in my opinion. But this is where you guys come in. Where we're going now is into the Rules Committee with the Assault Weapons Ban of 2022. You guys are going to see this on the House floor vote as soon as Thursday or Friday. Now, my bet, it's going to be one of those two days, and I'm going to walk you through why I believe that here in a second. Again, everything is linked. But it's going to the House Rules Committee. Again, this is a checkbox or a no checkbox. Did you do it right or did you not do it right? That's all that this is. Then Pelosi has free reign to do whatever she wants to do, and that is where you guys take action. All right, so... Here's where we are right now. So currently you have until the 29th in the House of Representatives before an August session break. They won't be in office in August. So that's why they're trying to rush it through right now. They're trying to get it done before the end of this session or before the August recess. This is something that they want because they really want to be able to say, well, we passed that gun control. We're doing what we can for that epidemic, epidemic of gun violence. So make sure and vote for your nearest Democrat because those pesky Republicans didn't pass it in the Senate. That's what they're trying to do right now. And that's why the House and Rules Committee is right here. This is what's happening. They just made this announcement. Meeting announcement for Wednesday, July 27th, 2022. The Committee on Rules will also meet on Wednesday, July 27th, 2022. The Capitol on the following measures with consideration not beginning before 2 p.m. The Committee on Rules will meet on Wednesday, that same time, around H.R. 1808, the Assault Weapons Ban of 2022, and H.R. 2814, Equal Access to Justice for Victims of Gun Violence Act of 2022. The second one is the PLCAA, that's revoking the PLCA, and the first one is the Assault Weapons Ban. Now, that's what they're planning on, and like I said, once that clears, Pelosi has a green light to really do whatever she wants, but she's having trouble. It's not as locked down as she thought, and that's where you guys come in. The important thing here on this first thing that I just showed you with the House representative uh, calendar, it's linked down there. In the top right, you have the ability to reach out to your House member. You can see exactly who it is in the top right of that screen. Type in the information. It pumps it straight out. I need you guys to call on this. Call, email, text, politely, respectfully. This is the time to make your voice known because you can literally take Nancy Pelosi's victory and snatch it right out of the jaws and into defeat. This is something, because there's too many Democrats that are so nervous about the election coming up that you will be able to affect change. The more noise you make, politely and respectfully, the more you can impact our Second Amendment right now. Now again, I want to reiterate, I personally do not believe that it's going to get into the Senate or even much less pass the filibuster. But... If you guys go forward and you stop this in the House, Nancy Pelosi loses her entire initiative and momentum to try to save her majority in the November election, which is already going to be setting up for a red wave. 
This is what this is going to become. This is how you have the ability to truly just devastate Nancy Pelosi's desires and dreams and her strategy because this is in your hands and we the people have the power they don't. And I would love to take part in that and make sure that re they realize it in a polite, respectful, and effective manner. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will see you tomorrow morning on the bullet points where we get right back at it. I'm Braden. See you later.